What's up, friends? This is Money and play the Fenrir, play the Fenrir, play the Fenrir, play the Fenrir. Okay, ladies and gents, we're playing the Fenrir, and I know sometimes I say the word a little funny, uh, but we have all three amplifiers on it: a phase shift, seeker drone, because lots of stealth, and uh, Bernadette Wolf. So let's go with the Shatter, as in my opinion, still one of the best uh, shorter range brawling weapons you can run. So there we go, ladies and gents, Beacon Rush with the Fenrir. Uh, I will show you over the course of this video that we have literally the worst weapon in the game when it comes to scoring battleship um, meter to fill it up and uh, to get battleship support. Uh, Shatter, Brisant, these things are completely useless when you're planning to have battleship support. They, it's, it just doesn't work. It's impossible to get these things to function. Um, we're going in here trying to take part in capturing the beacon because that also helps fill up the met meter. See, 19% now. It's not bad. Then a kill also helps. 33%. But you'll see, when it comes to dealing damage, how... Look, I'm just, just locked. Guys, I'm just locked for no reason now. Wow. I wanted to get and attack the Loki so that he stops attacking our beacons, but I just got locked. Okay, I'm, I'm very lucky when it comes to kills because kills, like I said, also fill up the battleship meter. But if it wasn't for that, uh, we would have uh, probably like 20% right now. Nobody's coming for me. Come on, guys. Normally, I, uh, you guys engage that center beacon much more than now. Ah, an Imugi that I can snipe out of the air. If he wasn't, like, lagging like this. <laughs> I just love how he lags in three frames. Lockdown again. Oh, man. All right, there's a lot of enemies here in front of us now. Okay, almost got him to last stand. Unfortunately, almost isn't good enough. All right, he's flying now. We're gonna have to wait for him to drop his last stand, and there we go. Now we can drop him. And also him up there. Very nice. Uh, we, again, see, we still haven't gotten a single battleship support. Any other setup would have had three, two battleships at the very least. That was the first one with, like, five kills or so, right? So... If you take off the kills from the kill count, if we just had dealt, dealt damage without getting the kills, I'm telling you guys, we would have basically zero battleship meter now. Uh, he gets behind cover, unfortunately. Uh, oh, hello, Scorpion. And boom. Oh, I almost got him. That was very close. Imugi above me. He feels, he feels like he's invisible, but I can see him in the air there. Even with his disguise unit. Gotten the kill. Sweet. He knows I'm reloading. So he doesn't use his ability there. But I'm inside the shield. Ugh. Nice. Fenrir for the win. <laughs> uh oh. Here comes the death though. I think. I hope that his, peak, his turrets will disappear any second now. Yep. And wow. We got the whole uh, Kyrie. Awesome. So far, uh, we've done really well, but again, we, we have only been able to put a single battleship out to use. So the Fenrir in this set we weapon configuration doesn't really function where very well uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, staying alive in the game for longer periods of times by using durability extenders. Yeah, I don't know. Where are our Titans? I see one there. Okay. Uh, okay, trying to get the battleship ready because I need to restore health. I need that durability restore. It's the only way how I can stay in the game with the Fenrir. This right there is a Lynx. He can basically one-shot me uh, with his execution if I am just a little lower. Thankfully, I got another kill. Capturing the beacon, restoring a little bit more of my health. And uh, trying to stay alive in the game. What is that? It's stealthed. Imugi. Okay. Very popular robot. And I understand why. Because you have a lot of stealth time. You're flying. You're mobile. And you have uh, the ability to fire through all that time. Um, but yeah. So I maybe I have to take it back what I said earlier. When I said that this is an excellent setup for the Fenrir. I feel like it's not. 
I think I have to correct this statement because um, the Fenrir, in order to stay alive, needs durability extension. If you can't extend your durability, uh, the Fenrir is pretty much uh, gonna die very quickly. And Titans are gonna kill it anyways because they bypass the resistance on the Fenrir. So I believe we probably need to switch to weapons that have a faster accumulation rate for the battleship meter. Um, okay. Let's get around the corner, fire empty the weapon. Also, I feel like I'm re reloading half the entire playtime with this setup. I don't know. Feels like it. So yeah, no. Maybe I have to take it back what I said in the beginning. This is probably not the best setup. It is a decent brawling weapon though, but there are certain soft stats to a weapon that you don't necessarily um, think about, maybe, when you're starting making a video with it. Uh, thinking, I'm thinking about the damage output, fixed reload, uh, decent performance at uh, medium range, and super good performance at short range, but I completely forgot about how awful uh, the um, performance of, of uh, in terms of filling up the battleship is. Uh, and with that, you, you cannot stay in the game for a long time. I was lucky not to get attacked by too many guys. I was lucky not to get attacked by a Titan uh, or so. Um, so yeah, uh, probably an okay brawler, but not necessarily the best to stay alive. Let's try something else. We recently had a live stream where I tested the bio -nu mechanoid nucleons and they turned out really well. Maybe this is gonna work good on a Fenrir. Let's try. So yeah, let's see if this fills up the battleship meter quicker uh, and uh, allows me to stay alive longer and better um, using, utilizing the battleship and its durability extension and so on. Um, yeah, because I, I feel like this is what you, if you want to really make the best of a Fenrir, that's what you what you need to do. Okay, we have a Shen Lu coming in. And uh, he's jumped on the wrong guy. Oh, look, his shield is not going down. Or what is going on? Dude. Is it just lagging so much or... And he's even, he's not even jumping at me. But I'm also not taking damage. Dude, something extremely wrong is going on right now. It feel I feel like it's crazy laggy and everything we do is heavily delayed. Look, he's even jumping at a spot where I am no longer at. Yeah, shooting shielded robots is probably the wrong decision at this point. This is a very weird thing that's going on right now. I am doing damage, it's just that it comes in way delayed. And I get the feeling that when somebody walks out of reach around the corner, the damage will never ever come back to him. It will not follow him. Look, this is where I was. You saw where he just jumped at? This is where he was, where I, where I am on his screen. So we're like 15 seconds delayed. Spawning the robot at least went a little faster. We will see if we shoot a shield and it actually begins to lose HP. That's when we know things are okay. Mm, is this Shen Lu? Uh, oh, the Imugi can do that. I want... Hold on, I want to get up there. I hope I can do it in time before he jumps again. Because uh, he can do that very quickly. Nice! Oh, dude, you never get up here with the Fenrir. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's shoot from here and see if the lags are better. Yep, now we can deal damage. And we can deal a lot of damage, actually, pretty quickly uh, in short range. Ooh, you're suffering, man. Uh-oh, let's kill him. He thought he was invisible, but uh, with the drone, I can see him. Now comes the action, yeah. Oh, that's a griffin. Interesting. And they've gotten the beacon, but it's not... I don't think it's Beacon Rush, so they can't spawn there. Let's see what's going on on the other side. Uh, battleship meter 99%. Okay. 
now it's finished. We got it. My uh, stealth detection doesn't work at this range. But we can get really good kills from, uh, from the distance. Okay. Alright, come on, guys. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm shooting back at you. He jumped somewhere. I don't even know where. He jumped way somewhere else now. Oh, look at the damage we've done against the Nether at that range, man. Dude, that is actually pretty good. I'm surprised again that the performance is actually really good on um, uh, on these uh, Atomizers and Nucleons. Uh, I'm getting repeat, repeat, repeatedly surprised by a decent performing uh, set of weapons. So, I don't think with these type of weapons he's going to kill me anytime soon. Or maybe he is. I don't know. Somebody was lifting him up so that he can perfectly hit me. So, maybe we have to deal with him first. He just lifted me, but somehow I didn't actually get lifted. Alright, you know what? Let's jump down. Enough. Whee! Hello! Uh, right behind everybody. And pop the shell. Wow, that was... He instantly died somehow. Okay, scorpion behind us. Scorpion! I see a scorpion. I saw one. He's gone. That guy died. Gee, everything just dies very quickly. We are in lead of the beacon, so right now I'm don't feeling the urge to capture it. He's gonna do that, of course. I'm gonna go away. Woo! Go! Okay, Scorpion should land now. Uh, not Scorpion. Um, this thing. He's invisible, but... Oh, before he gets into his shield. Okay, nice. I wanted to say, we have to get him before... So he's got multiple dis disguise units. See, the now I'm already using the second battleship. And it, it just goes very quickly. With these, uh, with these weapons. Alright, definitely we have to capture a beacon now. Oh, I don't want to get hit by that. Face shifting through the thing. I couldn't capture the beacon now, but... Uh, oh, no. So my, my resistance is not going to work against the Titan anyway, so I may as well just drop it. He just had his ability a second ago. And my bo beacon I just capped goes lost, but my team seems to be doing a great job at capturing the rest of them. So that's good. So he's, is he going to have another stealth? Yeah, he does. Look. Dude, he's got so many disguise units on his... Uh, 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 or big drone. Com maybe even a combination of big drone and disguise unit. So, with combined efforts, we can actually attack the Titan. Alright, alright. Just hammering in non-stop. I feel like now we should be okay. Even if he's trying to kill us. I got executed. Okay. I didn't see there was a Lynx. Yep. But uh, that is, of course, a very nasty thing for a Fenrir. To get an executed. Whee! The Onion is jumping through the map. Okay. Alright, so that was a quick match. Um, but I feel like it does show the Fenrir is still quite tanky, but it's it's not as it used to be, if you ask me. Um, maybe we have to play with different setups, make him stack up the repair amps quicker, but eventually Titans are in the game, and once that happens, your Fenrir is very easily killed, unless you have the other new legendary pilot, where his resistance becomes unmitigatable. So that would probably be the way to go with a tankier Fenrir, at least in the later phase of the game. But it will keep, it will cost you um, the middle weapon when you run or run it in full, uh, full mode. Um, so yeah, but still, uh, I like uh, the Fenrir. I feel like Atomizers are still a really good weapon considering they're really old. They're de doing a decent job 
filling up the battleship meter, that's something I was wrong about in the first start of this match. I completely overlooked that aspect, and it's important. If you were to run Tamer, uh, for example, and um, and those Subduers, these weapons fill up the battleship meter way faster, and of course your Fenrir will therefore stay in the game way more long. Way longer, right? But yeah, so thanks for watching, catch you in the next one, and that was a viewer request that you guys wanted. So, see you around. Manny off. Bye.